As you guys can see, we have a book haul today. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is my birthday book haul slash unboxing. All of these were gifts, some from others, some from myself, but I'm just so excited to open all of these packages. So let's get straight into it. Where do we even start? Do we start with packages or in-store purchases? I think I'm gonna start off with this pile here. All of these are from Big W. I have been loving book shopping at Big W recently. They have such a large selection and they are constantly releasing new things. And the prices are just so good. I'm pretty sure all of the ones I'm showing you today were $12, which is insane for Australia paperback prices. So the first two that I picked up are the next two books in the Shadow and Bone trilogy. I read the first book, which is Shadow and Bone in March and I really enjoyed it. It was a four star read for me. So not my like favorite book ever, but as someone who was just kind of starting off their fantasy reading journey. I think it's a really great option. It's YA fantasy if you didn't know. And it basically just follows our main character, Alina, who finds out that she has magical powers and she never thought she did, like, her whole life. And it turns out she is really 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 powerful so heaps of stuff happened in the first book i'm excited to see what happens in the next two so we have siege and storm and ruin and rising so this is the second book this is the third one i also really love the spines of these i think they're going to look so stunning in my bookshelf the first one is gold so i think they'll just look so beautiful and i'm just really excited to check these out and eventually get to the six of crows duology after that the next ones are all colleen hoover like i said all from big w the first one i picked up is confess i love confess i have already read it i borrowed it from the library last year and I loved it. It's probably in my top five coho reads and I've read about 70% of her backlist I would say. I think it is so underrated. I think the concept of this book is one of my favorites. It's about an artist and a hairdresser. It's got a bit of a forbidden romance kind of story and it's a very like full circle story if you know what I mean. So definitely recommend this. I know a lot of people don't love it but I personally do and I was very excited to finally own it. I eventually do want to own all of Colleen Hoover's novels so we're slowly making our way there I guess. Next we have Without Merit, which again is not one of her most popular books. I haven't heard a lot about this, but I'm really excited to check it out for myself. I haven't read this one. Honestly, I don't know much about any of the books that I'm going to be showing you today. I much prefer to go into books blind or as blind as possible because I feel like the less expectation you put on a book, the better experience you have reading it. So I'm excited to check this one out. Like I said, haven't heard a lot about it, but happy to add it to my Coho collection. And then the last two that I have in this pile is Maybe Sunday and Sunday? Someday. Maybe someday and maybe not. Again, both of these found at Big W, which is insane. These are definitely one of Big W's newer releases, so I was really excited when I saw these, especially a novella. They also had Finding Cinderella, but they didn't have the third book in this series, which was really sad. Hopefully they'll come out with it soon, otherwise I might have to buy it on Amazon, but these are another two of Colleen Hoover's books that I haven't read. Very excited because I know a lot of people love this little trilogy series situation. Moving on to the fun part, let's open these packages. So all of these are either from Amazon or Book Depository. Okay, in this first package, we have three books. The first one we have is The Defining Decade. I'm so excited to read this. I've heard incredible things about this. I've heard a lot of people say that this is like a must read for people in their 20s, which you could expect from the title, but a lot of people said this like truly changed their life. So if you don't know, it's more of like a nonfiction, self helpy type of thing, but I'm excited to check it out for myself. It is blinding green. That is very bright. <laughs> Next in this package, we have Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. I got this recommendation from Hayley Pham. She was plastering it all over her social media saying that everyone needed to read this and you best believe that I ordered it as soon as I saw her recommendation because a lot of the time I really love the books that she loves. I think it's a YA romance. I literally don't know anything else but I'm excited to read it. It looks super cute and I guess we'll see what I think. I really love YA. YA is just so good. And lastly in this package we have Know My Name by Chanel Miller. This looks looks so good. I have heard nothing but incredible reviews about this. Again, it's one of those books that people say everyone needs to read. So Chanel Miller was the survivor of the Stanford sexual assault case, which I actually don't know a lot about because I don't think it was as big of a deal in Australia as it was in the US because obviously it happened in the US. So I'm just really, really intrigued to see what this says and to hear her story. Moving on to the next package. A lot of these books are books that I've had on my wish list for a really long time and I kind of just use my birthday as an excuse to purchase them. So I've been wanting to read a lot of these books for a really long time. 
This is probably one of the ones I'm most excited about. This is Before We Were Strangers by Renee Carlino. I thrifted another book by this author last year. It's called Swear On This Life and it is one of my top favorite romance books of all time. It tops a lot of my Colleen Hoover books. It tops a lot of my Taylor Jenkins Reid books. It's just so good. And I know that this is actually her more famous novel. I know a lot of people have read this. I haven't. I honestly don't know anything about it. The reason why I've put off buying it for so long is because it was really expensive online for a really long time. and I I couldn't find it in store anywhere and so I was kind of just waiting for the price to go down if I'm being completely honest and it finally did on Amazon it finally got to like under $20 and I could justify it so I'm so excited to read this if I love this then I definitely want to go out and buy the rest of Renee Carlino's backlist well like over time eventually because if this is anything like swear on this life I think she'll be one of my favorite authors third and final Amazon package it's kind of fun forgetting what you ordered as well because I just don't know what is gonna be in here Okay, so next we have City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert. Can we stop putting these fake stickers on books? Like that is really disappointing. That just makes the book so much uglier. Like I really don't understand why we need to do that. But it's fine, it's fine. Basically the only reason that I bought this is because I heard people saying, if you liked The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, you'd probably like this. And so I went out and I bought it straight away. So again, I know nothing about what this is about apart from that it's based in the 1940s. And I'm assuming it's literary fiction. I don't know if it includes any romance, but I do know that it talks about friendship. This is a beautiful floppy paperback as well. She's a bit of a chunker, a little bit, almost 500 pages. We'll see what we think. I'm excited to pick this up. And then lastly in this package, we have The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. Morgans. Morganston? Morganston. See that cover is absolutely stunning. And then why does the spine look like that? Like that's really disappointing. Like if the spine looked anything like this, I'd be obsessed, but what? Why'd you do that? The front is really beautiful though. Don't really know a lot about this. It is the author of The Night Circus. I haven't read The Night Circus, so I don't even know if I like this author, but I was watching a booktuber one time. I don't even remember who it was now because this was like months ago. And she was saying that this book is like her favorite of all time, or at least it used to be. So it's been on my wish list ever since. I think it's fantasy and I think it's YA. Oh, it's a book about a book. I do remember that. I haven't read a lot of books about books, but if a lot of other people love it, I'm sure I will too. It says, when Zachary Rowland stumbles across a mysterious library book containing details from his own life among its pages, it leads him on a quest unlike any other. Following the clues inside, he is guided to a masquerade party, a dangerous secret club, and finally to a labyrinth filled with stories hidden far beneath the surface of the earth. Okay, so it sounds like a bit of an adventure. I love that. Of course, I'll keep you guys updated on all of these reads, but this looks really fun. Moving on to book depository. These ones are very satisfying to open. Beautiful. Firstly, we have Bunny by Mona Award. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I feel like a lot of the time I hear American people say authors' names and then when I try to say it in my Australian accent, it always sounds a little bit off, so I apologize. But I have just heard incredible things about this. I'm not gonna lie, I did want the black cover with the pink bunny, but this version was a lot less expensive, so I went with this one instead. I've heard that this is just super weird. A lot of people say that the first time you read it is a totally different experience to the second time you read it because you just notice all these different things and you can like see how much detail and effort the author put in. I'm so excited about this. I think it's gonna be a real experience reading this book. All I know is there's a girl who goes to a school, college, school, and there's a group of girls that call themselves the bunnies, I think, and call each other bunny, and it's like a cult kind of situation. I don't know, but I'm excited. I've heard a lot about this from Books with Chloe and Caitlin from Kate Literature, and I love both of their channels, so I'm hoping that I love this. That's another one that has been on my list for months. Next, we have this book by Sally Thorne. This is 99% mine. I'm pretty sure this was on my 22 books to read in 2022, because I think this might be the only one of Sally Thorne's books that I haven't read. I enjoyed The Hating Game. It wasn't my favorite, but it wasn't awful, but I loved Second First Impressions, which is so so underrated. I feel like I never hear anyone talk about that book and I just personally love it. It's such a cute little rom-com. And because I love that one so much, I really wanted to try out 99% Mine. Is this brother's best friend? Her twin brother Jamie's best friend. Yes, so like twin brother's best friend, which 
is kind of fun. When the twins inherit their grandmother's cottage, they're left with strict instructions to bring it back to its former glory. Darcy plans to leave as soon as the renovations start, but before she can cut and run, Tom's arrived bearing power tools and he's single for the first time in a decade. That sounds really fun. I don't know if I'll like it as much as Second First Impressions because that's honestly like one of my favorite books, but I'm excited. And lastly, in this package, we have More Than Words by Mia Sheridan. This is the author of Archer's Voice, which is my favorite book of all time. I freaking love Archer's Voice. And I have also ordered Most of All You, which is her other book, but I don't think that's coming till later in the month. It just had a really long delivery time for some reason, but I'm excited to check out her other books and see if I like them as much as Archer's Voice. I doubt it because Archer's Voice is just so special to me, but I'm interested to see how they compare. Moving on to the last package. I'm so sad. This has been so fun. I wish I could open book packages every day, which is dangerous because I don't need any more books, especially now, especially now. <laughs> I forgot what I ordered, so this has been so exciting. Okay, on top we have Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton. This has definitely had a lot of hype recently and I've heard incredible things. This is a non-fiction like memoir type of situation. I haven't read any of Dolly Alderton's other books. I know she has written other books. Has she written other non-fiction books? Because I know Ghosts by her is fiction, right? I need to research more about these things before I start talking about them on the internet. This book is a little bit damaged, which is annoying. Mm but it's really beautiful. The front is embossed as well, which I love. The National Book Awards Autobiography of the Year in 2018. I thought this was a little bit newer for some reason, but I guess it might have just only recently kind of got the hype. Oh, this is her first book. Interesting. Dolly Alderton is an award-winning journalist. She has a column in the Sunday Times and has written for publications, including the Daily Telegraph, GQ, Marie Claire, Red, and Gra Grazia. I also heard Steph Boer, Boer, I can never say her last name. I can never do it. I've seen Steph talking about this recently and she said she loved it, so there's a good chance I'll enjoy it. Another one of her recommendations actually is this one, which is The Summer of Broken Rules, which can we just admire that cover? That is beautiful. And oh, that's gonna look so pretty in my bookshelf. I just can't help myself with pink books, honestly. I know this was a five star read for Steph, so I'm excited to see what I think. I'm pretty sure Hayley Pham also rated it really highly. Destiny Sidwell also rated it really highly. I'm excited to check it out. If all of those girls have loved it, then again, there's a very high chance that I will also love it. And moving on to the last book of this video, which is so sad, we have Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett. I think this might be another one of Steph's recommendations. I could be wrong with that. I can't really remember where I first heard about it, but since I heard about it that first time, I've continued to hear about it and I've only heard good things. So I'm assuming it's YA and romance and I know nothing else about it. When Bailey moves to California to be with her dad who happens to live in the same town as her online crush, she decides to use all of her detective skills to track him down. Turns out it's not easy finding someone when you don't even know their real name. And with the irritating but charismatic local surfer distracting her at every turn, will she ever get to meet the mysterious Alex? So what's the bet that Alex is the guy that she was talking to online? Maybe not. We definitely did some damage, didn't we? I can't even pick up both of these. <laughs> oh dear, what have I done? Seeing them all together like this has made me realize I should put myself back on a book buying ban. Will I? No, I will not because I just received a bunch of book vouchers for my birthday. So it would be rude not to use those. But these are all of the books that I have today. I don't know how the heck I'm gonna pick what my next reads are gonna be. I doubt that I will ever do a book haul this big <laughs> again because that's, a little bit unreasonable of me. But I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. This was so fun to just sit and open book packages and chat to you guys. Make sure you subscribe if you wanna hear my thoughts on any of these books in the future, because I'm sure you'll hear a lot about them in future monthly wrap ups, in future recommendation videos, all of those sorts of things. And also feel free to check out my reading Instagram, which is just rach.reads with two S's to get more like real time updates on what I'm reading and what I think of books that I'm currently reading. I also got a Kindle for my birthday so I have opened the world to Kindle Unlimited which is again a very dangerous thing for a book lover like me but I'm super excited to dive into that world as well so it looks like I won't be leaving the house for the rest of the month I will just be sitting at home and reading with all of my spare time <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I love you guys so much and I cannot wait to see you in my next video very soon good bye